Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Quick and Minnesota. I'm your host Brian, your man on the Silver Mountain. Today's episode, I want to uh, go through Facebook because I've been dabbling a little bit here and there and there's some really interesting stuff on there live right now and uh, I'm concentrating on Morgan Dollars and uh, there's some really awesome pieces. There's one that I purchased and it's going to be on its way and uh, I just kind of want to further... Um, uh, expose you on um, numismatic coins just because of the high uh, value of the melt value of silver right now um, so I'm just kind of just showing you some examples that's out there for your own um, coin collecting goals and uh, I think these are some really nice pieces so hope you guys enjoy what I got to show you guys so stick around I'll see you in a little bit We are here and we are shopping on eBay. We get pretty good uh, deals on some of these coins that they have up for sale. And we're, when we got a pandemic and we got these high prices, you know what I'm saying? I want to look for the best deals. Now you see this coin right here that's sold? That's right. I bought that coin. It's coming. So what do we got? I had to get it because it's a strong seven or eight tail feathers, and that is on its way. Min say 61, and it's Morgan Dollar, and that's why I had to have it. Now here's another fantastic coin here, um, 150 bucks. This is a really good one. You know why? Because this is one that they melted in extreme amount during the Pittman Act when they wanted to make the peace dollars. A lot of these, a lot of this date got melted down. So once you get the AU58, the price starts to really go up high. Mint state condition, it's in the thousands. That's one of those coins where they're just so, so rare in mint condition. Um, and here's another one I'm really interested in, 1880 Carson Cities. Um, that's, I'm interested in that coin it, itself. Not so much the other ones, because they're very common. And... Uh, yeah, I just the 1885. I've had one of these before. Let's just click on it. There's the 1885. I used to have this exact coin. I think I paid 850 for it, or got a trade of 850 during the recession. And you know, the coin really has not really budded that much. It hasn't bloomed in price. It's kind of just one of those. Uh, it's a really common mint condition. Carson City in my opinion because that's one of those coins that kind of sat in vaults you know the GSA dollar and such that is a very common Carson City that sat in a vault so you'll find a lot of that one and this one as well in mint condition um, this one not so much so I'm really leaning toward that coin um, the 1878 all the way to 1880 those three years 18 80s, 1878, 1879, 1880. Those are the ones I like to look for. And anything beyond 1885. So those start to get really expensive. The 1889 Carson City is just, it, it, sometimes it's unfathomably expensive. You have to get a junker to afford it. Uh, person, uh, uh, you know, an average Joe like me. So let's move on. Because like I say, there's some good deals on eBay. Very good deals on eBay. Um, IGC. 1883 Morgan Dollar and Mint State 66 plus. Yeah, but you know, the thing is, I just don't trust the the grading company. IGC, that's kind of steep, but it probably is. More than likely, it is. But in my opinion, as a newsmatic collector, if it's not PCGS or NGC or Annex, I just I just can't take that grade seriously. If it came up to auction. I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want to buy that coin from an auction standpoint. So let's move on. They got a really nice assortment today. I mean, I'm liking the Morgan dollars they got today. Love that toning. Fantastic. 150 bucks. I'd probably pick this up. Another fine example of a Mint State 65. Really, really cool. Fantastic. 
All right, let's move on. 1884 Carson City, and that's kind of one. It's kind of that's a really common one as well. The 1884 and 1885, they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Um, I do have one of each, and uh, something I just don't want duplicates of. They are they are common. Um, you could basically walk down the sidewalk and trip over one. They're pretty common, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> so, ooh, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is speaking my voice here, and yeah, it's not graded. So, that's that's the kind of thing. If it's graded and they want to show you that it's dimple, what's that? What's that say? I mean, does that mean it? There's it's a. He, hey, I, I I like the I like the seller, John. He's a good seller, so I'm not even gonna go there. I'm just gonna trust him. But still, just just for the information, just for, just by standpoint, I just got uh, a coin that's not graded like that. Just throws up a red flag for me. I can tell that it's um, third reverse because you got the angled uh, uh, wing or uh, arrow feather there. Um, but that that still doesn't mean it's a dimple or a deep mirror proof link. That could just mean it's just a proof like, but it has some really nice toning to it. I do own one, and uh, it will be graded as soon as they lift off the, uh, you know, the beer flu. Now, this coin. This is, like, one of the holy grails, rarest, rarest Morgan dollar. And look how it says VF45. There is no VF45. Um, it's VF30. The 35 is the top. So, it'd be XF40. XF45. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be that high because I do see a lot of uh, distraction. Uh, but I do see some natural luster toning right up in this area. Okay, let's click on it. Looks pretty sweet. Isn't that nice? But but it's not it's not graded. And but bear in mind, people, this is one of the most faked Morgan dollars in the world. But this does look legit to me. That the fonts look right, the age of the coin, that toning doesn't look to appear to be altered or faked in any way. Well, you know, that's about a $6,000 coin, in my, in my opinion. Let's see what the comments say on there. Yeah, they say right there, there's no such thing as a VF45. Like I just said, <laughs> retail price of VF45, an XF45 would be twelve grand. It is actually uh, probably a VF30, in my opinion, uh, retail six grand. Um, I, I I would uh, recommend Teddy, my friend, um, go get that slab, go get that graded. Um, you don't want to sell it like that. Um, these are nice. Joe Conte, wonderful seller as well. Um, I love the toning. He's got great selection. I've already commented how awesome these coins are. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic. Um, here's some really nice, more Morgans here. This whole thing is all Morgans, guys. Let's look at these. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a good date. Holy mackerel, guys. 1895S. VF, VF, uh, very good eight. Look at this one. You can barely see it, but it says 1895 O. Let's zoom in a little bit. There you go, 1895 O. Dang, this guy's a serious collector. I don't even have an 1895 as well. That's a super rare date. I don't even have an 1894. Oh, 1901S, dude, you are a bad, bad boy. You got some really good stuff. All right, all right, all right. Nineteen hundred S. Ooh, not bad. Two hundred forty bucks. The reason why I'm pursuing these uh, numismatics is because of the high prices of, um, you know, the silver right now. I figure you're not going to have such extreme um, premiums on coins when they they already are sought after and rare. Uh, mint condition coins, mint condition specimens like this. Um, 1800 S, very good date. 
Okay, I don't even, it says 150 bucks. So that's a pretty good date. Let's keep on going, my gosh. IGC again, Men's State 66. It seems like everything in IGC is Men's State 66 plus. There's a good date. 1879S, you wanna look for um, the second reverse, but this is the third reverse. Um, I'm gonna click right here. You can see right there, let's zoom in. When you see that angled feather on the on the arrow there, that is the uh, third reverse. So the second reverse on an 1879S is the one you wanna look for. And I'll be showing you that on an upcoming video when I get all my 1878 Morgan dollars as a collection. I'm gonna do that in the future. There's another, that's a very common 1882 Mint 65. A lot of them are in that grade. A lot of them have this, what appears to have a double date. As you can see right there, how it looks like it's doubled, but it's not. It would have been attributed, but it's just a, it's just a machine doubling. So, um, so right now, uh, getting some, getting some fantastic deals on eBay is not out of the question. Here's another 1884 Carson City. Carson Cities are good, 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 good coins. But I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that the 1884 and 1885 are very, very common dates. As well as 1881, 82. All right, here's a nice one. I love these, even though in this condition, it is a, a coin I really like to have. I, I I like the 1880 Carson Cities. There are different variations of they're in the 1879s over 1880. You want to look for those, but that'd be a great date. I mean, I would buy this. How much do they want for it? If it's for sale, I'm going to throw a bid out there in live time. My thoughts on this being real, I am on the fence. I would tell you it is real because because of the trumpet S, uh, the trumpet C's right here. Okay, that's legit. I know it's got a little rim ding here. This coin probably is a uh, very good eight. That's my opinion. Maybe fine 12, possibly. Doesn't look like it's for sale. I would throw a bid out there for that. That's that's incredible. This is another Holy Grail 1893S. Holy cows, guys. That's great. So, uh, Morgan's Addictions. Morgan Addiction Family is a very good site. Ooh, 191930. Oh, dang. That's a, that's a coin I'd like to have. Very good condition. Very, very good condition. There is a GSA soft pack, 1878 Carson City. This was from the GSA hoard. Not bad. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this thing. I think I might have to end the video with this because this is spectacular. 1878S. Mint State 64, Rainbow Toning, sold, sold, sold. Darn it, got sold. I'd buy that thing right now. Unbelievable. So one week ago it sold. I'm a little late on that, but holy cows, guys. That is a spec. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me showing you guys some stuff on Facebook. And again, I'll put that link in the descriptions below on what site that is. So you can probably join that. And I believe uh, a coin help you. Daniel Malone is part of that, or or if not, he is like the top admin on that. I'm not sure, but um, he sent me to that site, and the, for the taste of the items that they have, it's it's really something that I'm very interested in because I like Morgan Dollars, I like Carson Cities, I like Tone items, and they just have a nice array of amazing items, and they're very kind and. You know, they have some really good advice on that site. I recommend you guys to uh, to that site as well. I give it a thumbs up. I mean, I've been on that site for probably six months. I really, really love it. And uh, again, you know, Morgan Dollars is some of my favorite things. It's highly uh, liquid, which means if you have it, you know, somebody's be like, oh, I want that. It sells. It's mark. It markets itself to a client, and it, it, it increases in value. That's exactly why I want it, and especially the Carson Cities.
they're they're the most liquid uh, Morgan dollars there is is the Carson Cities. So, <laughs> guys, if you're new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't the bell thing so you see awesome CGM action, so you are notified when a new video has popped up. And please like, share, and subscribe. I'd like to read your comments, and I'll catch you guys in my video upcoming tomorrow. <laughs>